I thought it was a little ridiculous, to be honest. I felt like that having exercises, as uh, the vice president of student affairs had said, that uh, exercises, uh, football players do exercises. Uh, I did exercises. I still do exercises. I feel like all students do exercises. And I feel like for that to be considered hazing is a little absurd. I haven't heard of any uh, light bulbs, bottle caps, any of that on bows and toes. Uh, I did bows and toes when I played baseball in high school. Uh, it's a good workout. It's the abs, abs going. Uh, so I don't see that as a problem necessarily. And I also heard that uh, the hazing hotline is all anonymous. And I don't understand how that somebody could technically, anybody could call them the hazing hotline. It doesn't have, it doesn't have, it doesn't have to be a Greek member. It could be anybody. And I don't see how that actually gives them credibility to say anything on the hazing hotline. How so, is this going to impact your fraternity um, and your experience on campus? Honestly, I'm not upset about not having pledge ship for my sake, but I'm upset for the uh, pledges because uh, basically pledge ship is for, uh, for, at least for my fraternity, and I know a lot of others, is basically to get the pledge class together, have a brotherhood, that kind of thing, and I feel like it's a little ridiculous that we're taking that away from me. What fraternity are you with? Stuff to go to Epsilon. What, with any kind of certainty, can you say there is no hazing, or at least the hazing that uh, Dr. Nelson described that it's not going on? I can, there's no hazing. I mean, there is, what, what we do is that we'd like to teach uh, deep uh, history. So we have, we'll have nights where we, uh, throughout the day, we'll talk about deep history. We'll learn, learn the 20 chapters, you learn the years, you learn the founders, you learn certain things like that. And you learn more about the house that you join. Are you worried at all that this could have a really negative impact on what people think of fraternities at the University of Alabama? Yes, I think it's a very negative impact. I feel like that it's, uh, I don't understand that somebody that wouldn't want to have the respect of their actives, that wouldn't want to learn the history of the house that they join, I feel like that everybody would want to do that with a fraternity. Do you think it's possible that fraternities that you're not a part of could have had more severe hazing? Have you ever heard rumors of that sort of thing? I hear hazing rumors all the time. I feel like that it's just you know, everybody does their own thing. Um, but um, you said that pledgeship is about forming a bond, and the houses that do do things like the exercises. How do you think doing that kind of stuff forms a bond? I would say that if you say, for instance, uh, let's say that if you. When you become, you're just graduated high school, so you come to college, you're a little immature, you uh, got to learn new things, you got to learn to do certain things, and you got to learn uh, to be, like when I first came, when I first, when I was a new boy, I was very immature, um, uh, grades were terrible, I didn't care about school, uh, I didn't care about getting involved with internships and whatnot, and what, doing certain things like that, which weren't to the extent that have been said, are, I mean, that's something that you just experience with your pledge brothers. You get the brotherhood with your pledge brothers, and you meet the actives when they're doing that. Because without doing certain things at the house to kind of meet the actives in that certain way, it won't. You can't even meet the actives. I mean, you, you can't bond. You have no brotherhood with that. And you, I mean, there's, there's I pretty good from here. I at least have pledge ship next year. Um, if they want to suspend it for the rest of this year. That's fine. Uh, there's, there's. I know for my new boys at least, they all want to uh, sign a letter saying that they want to do pledge ship anyway. Uh, I know that there's a lot of parents that still want them to go through pledge ship. There's a lot of alumni that really want them to go through pledge ship, uh, as well as me and my fraternity brothers. Is this going to change when y'all initiate at all? Uh, no comment. Now, you do know that hazing, even in its most minor forms, is illegal in this state, correct? Right. I understand that hazing uh, can be from anywhere from making somebody do your laundry, from uh, making somebody go up to a girl and saying, hey, you're pretty. Uh, I know that hazing, I know what, that hazing it can be from making a kid uh, do bows and toes on ball caps or making a kid do the laundry, same thing. Why do you think the university is taking this stance on these allegations? It, it sounds like they're they're taking it more seriously maybe than in years past. I honestly don't understand why. I know that uh, uh, Dr. Tim Hepson, he gets uh, phone calls every day and he gets uh, emails every day from certain parents saying things. And I remember him saying that unless there's credibility in it, that he can't do anything about it and he won't do anything about it. And I honestly don't see any credibility in taking somebody's word off uh, via phone call. Can and you say and spell your first and last name one more time? Jake Moore, J-A-K-E-M-O-R-O-W. And Jake, are you an officer in deep? Uh, Russia. How do you how do you respond to allegations <coughs> of uh, hazing related to alcohol? You know, and 
at best, you know, fraternities are accused of providing alcohol to minors, which is illegal, and at best, right. forcing them to drink. Right. Well, I would say that uh, the majority of uh, the majority of people, if you're a fraternity, whether even if you're not a fraternity, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, nobody forces anybody to drink alcohol. You have your right to say no. And providing it to them, even though they're minors. Providing alcohol to them. Right. To your to your pledges. We, we don't. We, we don't provide alcohol to them. Okay. Thank you, Jake. Thank, Thank you very much. Well,